control the way that users interact with the learning management system in various contexts. The administrator can manage roles via the front page, settings block, site administration, users, permissions, define roles. This page lists the available roles. These are, in fact, the default roles. We'll look at one of these by way of example. This is the teacher role. Now we can see it's been given a name, a short name, a description, and the context where the role may be assigned. Down, further down the page, we've got listed the capabilities. These are the things that uh, the role uh, may or may not be able to do. And alongside it, the permissions that may have been set, uh, set to allow, or in fact uh, not set or, or have been prevented. Okay, and the rightmost column outlines the uh, associated risks if we were to override any of the, uh, the, the set permissions on these capabilities. Now it's not, in fact, uh, recommended that we edit the default roles, but rather copy or clone a default role and uh, edit the capabilities and permissions there. In terms of assigning standard roles globally, we go to site administrators to, uh, to manage the site administrators. We can add or remove potential or existing users from the list. You see there. Assign other system roles. We can assign managers or course creators globally. That would mean system wide. So anywhere that the assigned users go, uh, said capabilities and permissions will follow them throughout all uh, lower contexts. Uh, it's no longer possible to assign, uh, globally assign lesser roles. Uh, via this page. Now commonly what teachers will want to do is uh, assign roles or essentially enroll users at a course level in a course context. So let's go to a course. Now via the settings block, users, enrolled users. We get an overview here of the users that are enrolled in this particular course and the role or roles that they've been assigned. If we wish to enrol more users or essentially assign another role, click the button that reads Enrol Users. And we select from the available roles to assign and then enrol the said user for that role. Naturally, the user account must first exist before you go about assigning a role in any context. Now it's also possible to override roles and assign roles in lower contexts such as at an activity or a block level. 